So if you just pump medially, you're probably familiar with semi-tend and semi-mem. So I always start here regardless of where the injury is. And then semi tend skinny at the bottom, but as you run up, it becomes really large. And did you see that little white sheet that ran across it there? That's the most characteristic feature that you, helps that you identify semi-tend. So if you can find that sort of, looks like a curtain opening zipper, um, then that's semi-tend on both sides of it. So all of that is semi-tend. Then semi-mem does the opposite. So you've got the big large one at the bottom, a semi-membranosis. And then by the time you end up at the top, <coughs> I'll show you, it's got two parts to it, it's a little confusing, but see that tiny little thing there? That's the semi-membranosis tendon at the top, so it ends up being this skinny little tendon. Mm -hmm. And then this white fascia here is the aponeurosis of semi-mem. And out to this side, there's this little comma-shaped muscle belly of semi-mem. So it's, it's like it's all in this in three parts. So as you come down, this comma-shaped muscle here, that's semi-mem, converging to the aponeurosis. And if we go a little higher, there's the semi-mem tendon there. And you can see how it's very close to the sciatic nerve. So you could get the two mixed up. So as I go up, sciatic nerve's more lateral, semi-mem's more medial. And this white fascia here, this is the conjoint tendon. So it's kind of like a bit of an S shape, and that's the merge point between your lateral hamstring and the semitend. So the first thing I would do is plonk down here, find semitend, and run up until I see that Venetian blind effect. And then I look beneath it for semi-mem. <coughs> so you'd take a series of images from, say, gluteal fold, 10 below, you know, 15 below, and, and compare with the other side, because a lot of tears will affect this little semi-membranosis. So if it's thick and hypochoic, sort of lost that fibrillary pattern one side, you know that that's a strain injury. And then you might have bleed tracking along the aponeurosis and may or may not have a tear or any hemorrhage in this more comma-shaped semi-membranosis muscle belly.